This bench is so comfortable that I'm about to fall asleep. Once I fell asleep right here for six hours. Really, Milo? That's incredible. No, Olga, it's a joke. Lately, you believe everything you hear. Of course I believe everything. If you tell me, it must be true. When Mumu tells me things, I rarely believe anything she says. You're right, though. Um, this sure is a comfortable bench. We can make one just like it to put in our treehouse. Are you being serious? Or is that just another one of your jokes? It's for real, Olga. I won't joke around with you anymore. We can make all kinds of new furniture for the cabin. Where are we going to get the wood? There's a place near the forest where there's lots of wood that nobody uses and there are branches that have fallen from the trees due to the wind. All right, but we need to make some chairs for the terrace and also hang a swing from the tree trunk. Good idea about the tree trunk. I think there's a tire that nobody's using. We could take it and use it for the swing. We'll have the prettiest house made from recycled wood from all over the valley. Let's go tell the others so that they can help us. They haven't done much of anything lately. But first, let's go and get the wood and we'll bring it home. Uh-huh. Uh. Whee! <laughs> Whee! Whee! I can't wait to swing on this tire. First, we have to tie some rope around it. And how do you plan on tying the rope to the wood? What can we do? Well, you can bring up the wood while we mount the swing. Woo! You can also go ahead and start making a bench and a chair for the terrace. All right, let's get to work. But first, give me some water and I'll clean the tire off. Ugh. Thanks, I got it. So now, how can we get the rope up there? Well, I haven't figured that out. Thank you, Talalo. We're so lucky that you know how to fly. Now all we have to do is tie the rope around the tire. It's all done. Well done, Talalo. You sure know how to do things right. Well, guys, we finally have a swing. Now I need to clean it because it's really dirty. Thank you, Alfred. We'll go and see what Mumu and Rita are doing. How did you do that so quickly? Not long ago, I took a course in furniture making. No, but I'm the one who did everything. You've got some nerve. Yeah, but I told you step by step mm -hmm. what needed to be done. Can I try them out? Yeah, I want to try them out too. Of course, that's why we made them. Oh! oh, oh! Rita, what did you do? I, I, I... This bench looks stronger. I'm sure it won't break apart. Moo Moo. I don't get it, Rita. There must be something you did wrong. Well, I don't know what it could be. We did everything right. It's clear that this furniture was not glued together. But we did add the glue. Look, here's the bottle. We uh -huh. clearly have to reassemble everything again. Well... Since you already know how to do it, you can assemble them. Mumu and I are going to go try out the swing. See you later. Oh, I really can't believe this. Who wants to be the first one on the swing? Me, me, please, please, please. I do, I do. Well, since it's big, you can both get on. Yay! This is really fun! Woohoo! Yes, this is fun! It's a blast! Now, with no hands! Yeah, me too! Hey, wait, I 
can't free my hands. Me neither. What's going on? Help! We're both stuck. Alfred, what did you do? I just washed it with the water that was in that bottle. Now I know what happened to the furniture. Who cares about the furniture? We're glued to this swing. Someone please help us. That's exactly what happened. When you threw me the bottle of water, you made a mistake and gave me the bottle with glue. And Alfred cleaned the tire with the glue instead of the water. Help! Help us! Somebody get us out of here, please! They got what they deserve. I couldn't agree with you more. Let's let them swing for a while. Ha, ha, ha! That's not fair! Help us! <laughs> Help! <laughs> Why does this always happen to me? It's been a while since we've seen our friends who live outside the valley. Well, I recently spent time with our friend the frog. How's she doing? She's doing fine. She's happy that she learned how to swim. We went for a swim together and she introduced me to all her friends. It was a lot of fun. How nice! Next time you see her, tell her I said hello. Next time I see her, come swim with us. That way I can introduce you to her whole family. Milo, have you heard any news about our friend Mr. Lion? Actually, I haven't seen him in a long time. He never comes to visit us anymore. He used to spend the whole day with us, but ever since we built the cabin, I haven't seen him at all. We should go and visit him, and then we can invite him for an afternoon snack in our cabin so he can see it. That sounds like a great idea. Should we go tell the others so that they can come with us? There's no need for them to come with us, but it would be great if, while we're gone getting Mr. Lion, they start making our snack. Rita! Rita! Rita, can you come out for a minute? How's it going, guys? What's up? We're going to see our friend, Mr. Lion, and invite him to have a snack with us, since we haven't seen him in a long time. Could you and the others prepare a snack so that when we get back, everything is ready? You can count on me. When you get back, we'll have a big tray of snacks all ready for you. Perfect, Rita. Thank you. We'll be back soon. See you later. Alfred, Mumu, Tolalo, come on out here. Milo and Olga went to Mr. Lion's house to invite him over for a snack. And they asked me if we could prepare something for when they get here. Well, everyone except you, Mumu, since you always eat everything. They wanted me to tell Mumu to sweep the floor so that everything's clean. And what will you be doing while they're preparing the food and I'm sweeping the floor? They asked me to be the one to organize everything. All right now, everybody get to work. This isn't fair, but if Milo and Olga said so, we need to do as they say. Hello, Mr. Lion. It's been a while since we've seen you. Hi, Milo. Hi, Olga. Yes, it has been a while since we've seen each other. How's everything? Everything's great. We came to see you and to invite you to have a snack with us and just catch up on things. Well, that sounds like a good idea to me. When's the snack? Well, I know it's really short notice, but we were planning on having the snack right now. Right now? Um, 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 right now is fine with me. Um, um, I have nothing better to do. So, let's go then. You're going to love the cabin that we built. A cabin? Yes, we built a really beautiful cabin on top of a tree with an elevator that goes up and down. An elevator? Yes, an elevator. What's the matter? Don't you like elevators? Actually, I think it's better if I stay here. I just remembered I have a lot of things to do. Mr. Lion? What's the matter? Are you afraid of elevators? No, 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 that's not it. So then what's wrong? The truth is that I'm afraid of heights, and that cabin, as beautiful as it is, is really high up. But wait, you've already seen the cabin? Yes, I've tried to visit you many times, but since you were inside the cabin and I was afraid to go up, I just left without telling you. But Mr. Lion, how could such a big, brave lion like you be afraid of heights? Yes, I know, it's embarrassing. You shouldn't be embarrassed. Don't worry about it. We'll have the snack under the cabin. That way you won't have to go up anywhere. Really? You would do that for me? Well, of course. That's what friends are for. 
Let's go have that snack. Yes! I'm so tired from sweeping the floor that I don't even feel like having a snack. Momo, when Mr. Lion sees how clean the floor is, he'll be very happy. You think so? I'm sure. He'll say, what a beautiful and clean floor you have here in this cabin. Look, they're here. Hi there, friends. Hi, everybody. Rita, is everything ready? Yes, the snack is ready. Please send it down here, okay? What do you mean, down there? The cabin is really clean. That's not fair. You know, the cabin is very nice. It looks even bigger close up. And does the floor look really clean to you, Mr. Lion? From what I can see from here... <laughs> well, yes, Moogoo, the floor looks like it's really clean. I already knew it. We're coming down now with the sandwiches. Moogoo's getting harder and harder to understand every day. What does the floor have to do with it? We're all down now. Time to eat. By the way, why are we eating down here and not in the cabin? Because Mr. Lion likes seeing the cabin from down here. Well, next time, I'll sweep the floor down here, too, so it'll be nice and clean. Now let's eat. Rita, why does Moo keep talking about the floor? Well, because I told her that you told me to tell her that Mr. Lion was coming over to eat and that the floor needed to be clean. But Rita, we didn't tell you to tell Moo Moo to sweep. I believe it was your turn to sweep. Oh, really? Oh, well, I thought that's what you told me. I forgot it was my turn to sweep. You're too much, Rita. Poor Moo Moo. So, when we're done, you'll clean up. All right, that's fair. <laughs> 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 yum, yum, yum. <laughs>